This video is the third and final video of our elevation render. We made a composite render and SketchUp and by hand and with Photoshop. So we've got all of our materials and our colors in place, our sketches in place. Now we just need to add some accessories to this to brighten it up a little bit, uh, make it feel lived in. So I went to World Market and uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, a couple other places, and found some stuff to put in my sketch here. So I'm just using the polygonal lasso tool to cut out the excess area I don't need. And remember again, this is elevation, so you really won't see perspective, which is important to cut off the top of these bowls, at least the top and the bottom. It helps uh, make the rendering look consistent with the view of the elevation. And because the style I chose is pretty neutral for the overall kitchen, I really need to use these accessories to get some color in there. So I kind of picked some bright colors for this. Uh, this bowl won't really work because the perspective of this won't work in our elevation. So I'll have to cut that out and figure out some way to replace it. So I'm going to make it look like there's these... Uh, cups over here instead that go with this plate. And I'm going to get this press in there over by the stove countertop. And I'm using the magic wand tool. I can change the tolerance of this. So in the top menu bar up there, you can change the tolerance to play around to see if you can get the selection that you need. And I found a toaster I liked from Bed Bath the Up and Beyond, but I'm not sure if I want the uh, red toaster or the silver. So I like the red, but I think it might stand out too much. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with the gray. And I need to add a filter to these photos, otherwise it's not going to integrate with my drawing as much. And I really like the paint daubs. And you can mess around with that filter to get something that looks more like a sketch. And then I'm going to add to it with my own sketch lines. So I'm just kind of painting over these accessories to make it blend in more with the style that we have in this rendering. Otherwise, it just looks too pasted on. So you can choose to do this step last if you want, or you can integrate the accessories into your overall plan and start sketching them out from the get-go. I just like to save it for last because I'm really not sure what I would want to do with these, and sometimes I don't really know until I finish the overall material rendering. And this way too, you can easily take it out. So if your client doesn't like a, a certain style of something that you had picked, you can just replace that pretty easily because it's on its own separate layer and not embedded into the sketch. Okay, so I'm going to figure in this as well. Uh, one easy way to get that would be to go into SketchUp in a 3D warehouse. And there's all kinds of 2D and 3D characters there. So I usually just pick a front on pose and then render that out. So I'm copy pasting my front on pose that I rendered out into here. 
And I need to scale it down to make it look natural with the scene. And I like this figure because the elbow I can use to overlap on part of the drawing. So I like to keep the figures either off to the side or in a doorway, uh, someplace where they're not really covering up something important. But if they can overlap part of the sketch, then that'll draw the eye into that area. And I also like to silhouette the figure a little bit. I think if you just have a, a photo or um, a 3D model of a character or something, and you can see the facial features very distinctly, then sometimes that can be distracting in your rendering as well. So it kind of depends on the settings. If it's a commercial rendering and it's a large open setting, sometimes it's okay to have more uh, characters with features. But I think in this instance, it wouldn't be as good. So again, I'm sketching over the figure to make it blend in with the style that I've already created. And I pulled the opacity down quite a bit because I think if it was a darker figure, then it would compete with the cabinets. So I just need to kind of even knock that down some more. And now it's just time to clean up some of this stuff. So we're getting near the end of this rendering. So I, I just clean up stuff the whole way. And I need to add some sort of shadow back in where these plates and bowls were placed. And one last thing I forgot to put into my section view from SketchUp was the window. So I added the light source in there previously, but it doesn't quite make sense unless I do something over here. So I'm just adding in that detail there, the section cut, make it look like a window. And it's wrapped up. This is pretty good.